That's a proper nice drop, that is. <coughs> All right, see my boy, another night in, guys. You can see the bit of tissue over there. We had a bit of a fucking... Oh, the beer stuck to the desk. <laughs> it overflowed slightly, shall we say. Fuck, it looked like a fucking disaster. I thought, oh, fuck. So we nearly ended up with fucking beer all over the shop. We're on the De Kirch Premium Lager tonight, though. So it's all right, doesn't it? Clear as a bell, sort of. But housekeeper, before we start, thank you, guys. You are fucking awesome. 450 subscribers. Fucking madness. Uh, thank you to everyone that tuned in last night. Thank you especially to Alan Feed, Spice and Easy, Paul and Michelle, Joey, even turned up, Mr. Square Tail himself, and John Mark popped in for a little bit. And everybody in chat, you're awesome. It was a great night. <coughs> Thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you for the subs. Thank you for tuning into the stream. It's been a great little journey so far. One year on YouTube. Uh, yeah, tonight, sorry, I'm a bit fucking new. We're on the De Kirch Premium Lager, it's called. So it's quite a nice two finger sort of fluffy white head, I would say. Let's just move the keyboard out of the way so we don't spill beer on it. So sort of steady carbonation, it's a lovely sort of just sort of quite pale, actually. It's sort of quite a pale colour. Looks all right. Let's have a look, shall we? It smells quite sweet. It smells a bit like a, a light lager or something. Sort of, there's a bit of a bit of malt there, but overall there's a real sweetness there. Sort of like a cheapish sort of uh, like your light lager, sort of like you have like a Bud Light or something, or like a. Coors Light or something, that sort of real sweet, malty smell, sort of, uh, mm. Interesting. The proof is in the pudding. Might taste beautiful. Might taste like shit. We'll soon find out, won't we? Cheers. It's really smooth. Really smooth. There is a sweetness to it, for sure. But there's also like a sort of spicy pepperiness, ever so slightly. Very slight. It's only 4.8%, so it's not going to set the world on fire. It's all right. It's all right. Like I say, there's, it's smooth. There's a slight pepperiness there. As a, a sort of aftertaste. There's a real smoothness to it. Real sweetness. It's a bit like a German taking a light lager. Um, I think it's German. It sounds German. I could be completely mistaken. Please sl slaughter me in the comments if I'm if I'm not right. It's just all right. It's 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 just all right. I don't think I'd recommend it. It's just all right. Um, perhaps it's a step up from your sort of macro lagers. If you're not quite ready to jump into sort of like the spating or the low and brow, maybe this is like a gateway beer. It's okay. It's perfectly drinkable. It's not offensive. It's just. Just all right. You know, it's not shit, but it's not fucking going to set your world on fire. <clears throat> um, eh. Just middle of the road. It's just all right. Crisp, clean, smooth. Easy drinking. Middle of the road. If you get it cheap, try it. If you've 
Then again, it's not bad, but the time you've got your fiver back and you're 15% off, it's about 22, 23 quid or something, I think, for the keg. <laughs> Which ain't bad for 10 and a half pints. I don't know the trap blonde coming up, though. That's going to be some hefty shit. That's going to shit all over that, I think. Right, you've been fucking awesome. Sorry, I'm ranting and fucking rambling. I'm not quite with it. I'm a bit, a bit fucking head fucked from last night. Thank you again to everybody that's tuned in. Thank you for all the subs. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for watching the streams. You guys are awesome. I love you to bits. Stay safe. I'll catch you next time. Catch, catch you next time even. Peace.